it is a great shame, you see. Even all the spirits of babies have understood. We have understood what Venerable Master said about the universe being a community. We are one. Thus, we will not give rise to hatred again. That's right. It really is biological community. The Dharma tells you first act. All sentient beings are originally Buddhas. They are also Buddhas. That's right. Second, it tells you people live forever. There is never any birth or death. We live forever. That's right. We are not born and do not die. We physically see that someone has died and refer to the person, but that is the physical body. The physical body has died. But your soul has not died. If it died, would there still be the spirits of babies? Would they still be after you? That's right. They will be reincarnated again. They change to another body. Thus, the body is not me. The body is just like clothes. You can change from one to another. It really is like that. Thus, if you truly understand, you will not be afraid of death. Why? There is no death. There is absolutely no death. If one can accumulate merit and practice virtue, you will then live and die at ease. Why? There is no suffering. You will pass away without illness. This is good. Pass away without illness? Without illness. Clearly knowing where you are going to at the time of passing. Venerable Master, is it what Buddhism refers to as knowing in advance when one will pass away? Those who accumulate good fortune and are the most fortunate will know in advance when they will pass away. Those who are not Buddhist can also do that. In other words, they are able to attain this result as it is the result of having accumulated merit and practiced virtue throughout one's life. That's right. Having accumulated merit and practiced virtue, they have great fortune. They know to let go of the old and weak physical body and to discard it. They know where they will be reincarnated. They do not reincarnate in a state of confusion. They know and are particularly clear in the relation to the human and the heavenly realms. All those who are confused have gone to the three evil paths. They are diluted and deranged as if they are drunk. They are diluted. If their mind was clear, why would they become an animal? Why would they become a hungry ghost? It is impossible. This is called being diluted. They are deluded as they are reincarnated. They are deluded. Thus, a clear-headed person will not walk into the evil path. This is for certain. Who is clear-headed? Those who are kind-hearted, who cultivate good fortune and accumulate merit, they will not go to the evil path. Those who cultivate good fortune and accumulate merit. That's right. Those who have greed, anger and ignorance, who commit killing, stealing and sexual misconducts, they are diluted and deranged as they pass away, and definitely choose the three evil path. You should know that the delusion is due to revenge by karmic creditors who cause them to be diluted. They are not in control. They are not in control. They are controlled by those sentient beings. That's right. Their karmic creditors nowadays Many people are possessed. Those who are after their life, such spirits are after them, and their minds become deranged and confused. Thus, the majority of those who die like this have gone to the three paths. Thus, the Chinese refer to the five merits. The last of the five merits is a good passing. Passing away with a clear head without any pain at all. This is good fortune. The Chinese people abuse people by saying, you lack morals and will not have a good passing. This is the last of the, may you be blessed with the five good fortunes. That's right, good passing, with good fortune, you immediately have a good passing. You will definitely go to the virtuous path, it is for certain. It is just the principle of having a good departure for a good arrival. Thus, if you understand these principles, you know that the spirits of babies and ourselves are the same. Their spirits do not have birth or death. 
They are related to us throughout the ages and are definitely not limited to one generation. This relationship is very deep. Having understood this, you will feel compassion for them and truly give rise to affection. Thus, Buddhist compassion is not groundless. There are grounds. One knows that the universe and oneself are one. All sentient beings and oneself are closely related. An individual definitely cannot exist alone. They must depend on the community. They are a group. It is impossible for one person to be alone for a lifetime. May the merit and virtue accrued from this work adorn the Buddha's pure land, repaying four kinds of kindness above and aiding those suffering in the path below. May those who see and hear of this all bring forth the resolve for body, and when this retribution body is over, be born together in the land of ultimate bliss. Namo Amitabha Buddha. Namo Amitabha Buddha.